then we're going to talk about RH factor. And RH factor comes from the word rhesus, or rhesus monkey. And often RH factor is referred to as RH antigen, or D, antigen D, or D factor. The idea is that when we're looking at red blood cell compatibility, if we're thinking about giving someone a transfusion of red blood cells, so if we're thinking about saving this person, this person that has B-type blood, we know we can't give them anything with A's because they don't like A's. Right? So we remember that we have a donor row and we have a recipient row, or this is the thing we need to look at in the recipient. Well, I went ahead and added RH factor, which is just another antigen, to all of these red blood cells because most people have RH factor. So 85% of people around that, depending on the population, have the RH factor. And when we're thinking about giving blood to someone, remember we're going to give these red blood cells to a whole person. And that whole person we need to take into account what's in their, what are their defenders? What are their soldiers? What do they, what are their soldiers not like? So let's say we want to give blood to a person here that has a B type blood. Right, so we know they have Bs, because I can see the B antigens, and we know they don't like As. So we know we can give them their own type, which is B, and we know we can give them that O, because O doesn't have any antigens on it. So B and O are fine. Now we have to take into account that positive thing there. And that positive thing there, I'm representing that as the RH factor. So now this person has RH. So not only have we we taken into account whether or not they could receive uh, blood based on these other antigens, on these B antigens, but we need to factor in. Uh, we need to we need to look at can they can they match someone with RH? So now we're looking at what's called positive for RH versus negative for RH. If there is an RH, and the reason I didn't put it as a little positive out here is because I want you to see that it is attached to the red blood cell. It is a thing, just like these guys are, just like these B antigens are on the cell membrane. So this has a RH antigen stuck into the cell membrane. So we need to think, can we give another person, uh, can we give a cell that looks just like this one to this person? Yeah, we can, right? Because you can always get your own type. And so now this person we know is RH positive, and so it makes sense that we would be able to give them B positive. Now let me take this away and just show you the sentence that's right here. It says that, when I wrote that, people who already have the RH antigen. So if you already have that antigen on the cell membrane, and most people already do, 85% of people do, then they can receive other red blood cells that have that antigen, that are RH positive. And they can receive other red blood cells that don't have the antigen. And I'd like you to think about it this way. Pardon me for a second while I move paper around. people who do not, do not have RH antigen. In other words, people who are RH negative cannot receive, they do not want any blood. that has RH. Now this is a very non-scientific way to say that. 
but that's how I want you to think of it. If you don't have RH, you don't want it. If you don't already have RH antigen for factor, you don't want it. All right? So let's look at this. Let's just say, for example, so let's take the, let's take an easy one. Let's take the most common blood type, which is O. And you know there's no antigens on O, and so that O has no antigens. This is type O. No antigens, but what does it have? It has both antibodies, doesn't it? It has A and B antibodies. And that's just something to keep in mind. Sometimes it really helps if you're doing one of these word problems that you might see later, if you draw this out, if you can draw that chart, and then you can answer these questions. All right, so this is typo, nothing on it. However, since 85% of the population has RH factor, let's give him RH. All right, so he is type O positive. He is positive for RH. Now, just for the fun of it, let's see what we could give him. Could I give him, could I give this person, this whole person, could I give this person that has A, B antibodies, we've already decided that type O can only receive type O blood, so that leaves us only with O's to give. So could I give this person O positive? Yeah, don't they match? Absolutely. So that's okay. We could give them O positive. And could I give this person O negative? Could I give them blood that doesn't have rhesus factor on it? Yeah, I could because this person already has rhesus factor. You're not giving them anything they don't already have. There's no danger to giving them something that doesn't have the rhesus factor on it. Okay, so I could give them O positive and I could give them O negative. Let's try O negative. Now, this person doesn't have any A's or B antigens and they don't have RH. No RH. They have no RH. Could I give them O negative. So this person is O negative. Could I give them O negative? Yes. Can I? Because that matches. Let's put a yes there and let's put a yes here and a yes here. So I could give them the one that matches, right? So I'm going to write out the word yes so you don't think that's another antigen you have to memorize. So I could give them a mirror image of themselves. Let's try the O positive. Could I give them O positive? No. Why not? Absolutely not. Why not? Because people who don't already have the rhesus monkey factor don't want it. Got it? This person's red blood cell does not have rhesus monkey factor. It is negative for rhesus monkey. It does not want it. So I can give them another one that doesn't have it either. That means nobody has it, nobody wants it. This person, this O positive, they have the rhesus factor. So this recipient does not want it. Doesn't want monkeys. <laughs> doesn't want rhesus monkey factor in its body, right? So, the question here is, 
which one of these is a little more versatile? It's going to be somebody that has positive rhesus. This is has RH factor. And why is that? Well, not why is that, but it turns, you know, it's the most dominant or most common uh, antigen. And so most of the time, this is going to be the situation because this is 85% of the time. But this is going to be 15% of the time. And this is why things like the Rogam shot were invented. Because what Rogam does is it makes this situation work out during things like childbirth, which we'll talk about when we do a little video on erythroblastosis fatalis, or hemolytic anemia of the newborn, okay? So we're thinking about this is the most common, this type positive person, whether it's A positive, B positive, AB positive, O positive. A person that's positive is more common than a person that is negative, whether it's A negative, B negative, AB negative, or O negative. Negative is the less common uh, occurrence of RH. The other guiding principle is to remember that if you don't already have RH factor on your red blood cells, you don't want it. If you do already have RH factor on your red blood cells, then it's okay for you to get it. If you do already have it, People who already have the RH antigen can receive red blood cells which either have it or don't. Doesn't matter. We'll go over that a little more in lab. So there you go.